I'm coming to you again to talk to you about the vagus nerve and uh, other ways that you can use it to help your uh, nervous system calm down. And um, remember the vagus nerve um, from the previous video, it regulates the body's organs while at rest. Um, and so you can digest and uh, do other normal bodily functions that you would not be able to do if you were in a fight or flight situation. Um, so these are things that give your body the idea that you're safe. Okay. So this, um, turns off basically, or turns down when you are in fight or flight. Okay. So most of the time we're pretty safe. It's just the pain or irritation or the news or whatever that is, is getting us into a higher state of, of arousal. And we want to make sure that our bodies are functioning correctly. So we want to make sure that we keep our nervous systems at a nice, uh, comfortable, um, happy rhythm. Okay. Um, so dysregulation, uh, what does it look like? It's all kinds of moodiness, um, poor decisions, pain, slow digestion, high blood pressure, um, a lot of different things like that. Yeah, irritability, um, regulation is calm, collected, connected with people, appreciative of our surroundings, um, happy, uh, easily, you know, our digestion's working well, all of that. So, um, caring for this can mean a healthier immune system. Um, it can mean better regulation of hormones. Um, so better regulation of diabetes, blood pressure. It can mean less pain or even just, even if not less pain, less suffering associated with the pain, um, better able to tolerate it. Um, it can mean better relationships, uh, making better decisions, having better sleep. Um, so it can do a lot for you. Okay. Um, and so why don't we just tell ourselves, you know, calm down. Okay. Um, because that is a thinking brain response. Okay. And our fight or flight or rest and digest systems, those autonomic nervous system, things like digesting, things that we can't control with our brains on purpose, uh, those, are, those are survival brain things and they don't talk the same language. So uh, we have to learn how to speak the survival brain language in order to get our um, nervous system to calm down. Um, so today we're going to go through breathing and gargling. So, um, note that some of these exercises may actually do things to trigger you to feel less safe and, um, and, and more aroused. And if that happens, please stop doing them. We're going to go through a few quick grounding techniques to bring you back down to your regular state, um, after we do these other techniques, um, so stick around, um, don't freak out, just, uh, hang out and we'll, we'll bring you back down to, to where you can be. But sometimes these techniques can trigger some things in us that, um, way back in our past may have caused some, us to feel unsafe. So, uh, the first thing is breathing. And I want to say, you know what, Google this one, because there are a million different ways to breathe. Okay. And, um, not one, you know, not all of them are going to work for every single person. Okay. Um, I'm going to go through one really quick one today, but there are so many ways to do this that, um, you know, you have to just try them and see what works well for you. Okay. So the first one, the, the breathing techniques that I'm going to do today is basically just breathing in twice as long or breathing out twice as long as you're breathing in. Okay. So if you breathe in for one, you breathe out for two. So one, two, all right. Breathe in, out, two. All right. And you can increase that and gradually lengthen the length of your breath. So you're in two, out, two, three, four. In two, out, two, three, four. Okay. And you can go three, six, 
um, see how far you can go. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to. So if you don't make it to six, you only make it to five. That's not a big deal. You know, you don't hurt you. It's not, it's not a big deal. Um, the idea is that you are breathing out for longer than you're breathing in. The reason why that works is because every time you breathe in, you activate your uh, fight or flight system. And when you breathe out, you're activating your rest and digest system. So you're kind of bouncing between these two all day long and, you know, to maintain a certain arousal state. Um, but as you breathe out for longer and you breathe in, you're giving that uh, rest and digest a chance to catch up. Okay. Um, I am not going to demonstrate gargling to you. I think you know what it looks like. Um, I think you all know what it sounds like. Um, I probably could find a video of it on YouTube if you wanted to, to see it. But um, the reason why that works is that um, the nerve that the vagus nerve actually comes down the back of your throat and so it will serve to stimulate the back of your throat and stimulate that nerve um, and get it to working again okay or working better okay um so now if you found yourself getting a little bit more aroused while you were doing you know the breathing or if you, while you're Googling and you're trying these things and you're like, start to kind of uh, get more aroused, um, don't, don't fret, just stop and uh, do some grounding techniques. Now, there's a really great grounding technique video that has been done. Um, and if you can't, didn't get it from our newsletter, you can always contact our office and somebody can get you, um, get you a copy of that um, or a link to the video. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to sit and I have a chair behind me, um, but I'm just going to sit here actually cause comfortable. Um, <laughs> you're going to find your contact points. So right now I'm sitting, um, on my, you know, uh, in a kneeling position. And so I'm going to feel my, my, my shins on the ground. Uh, I'm going to feel my butt bones on my feet. Um, and, uh, you know, you can, if you're sitting in a chair, you can lean back, you can feel that, you can feel your feet on the floor, you can feel your hands on your thighs, um, any of those. And if you need to, you can, you can use some movement to help to bring more attention to that. You're going to pay attention to that. Hey, and you're speaking survival brain language for, Hey, I am here. I'm safe. Um, this is now and not the past. Okay. Um, the other thing you can do is you can come up with five things you can see, four things you can hear, three things you can smell, two things you can taste, um, and one thing that you can feel or any combination of those things. Okay. So those are a couple of ways that you can use to um, help downregulate your system. I find that it's good to do one or two or maybe even three of them before I go to bed at night because sometimes one, just one won't work on its own. Um, but good luck to you. And uh, I'd be interested to hear how these things are working out for you. So um, give us an email at info at kc4hl.com. Uh, or even me, Anne, at kc4hl.com. And uh, let me know how these are working out for you. And I will talk to you soon and for video number three. All right. Thanks. Bye.